Dennis, can I talk to you? What the hell? Don't text me a line as soon as I get to work. You're ruining my working spirit. I'm sorry. You left your jacket on the couch again. It'll get wrinkled soon, so you'll have to put it on a hanger. You texted at me early in the morning just to tell me about that kind of thing? What an annoying woman. Isn't it your job as a wife to put my jacket on the hanger after I took it off? Why don't you just shut up and do that? Of course, I'll put it on the hanger when I notice it, but I wanted you to be careful. Don't text me every time you want me to take care of something silly like that. I'm sorry, but I wanted to tell you when I noticed. I forget everything when I get caught up in work. All you have to do is be quiet and do your job. Leave me alone. Huh? All I want is for you to do your job. You know that, right? Well, but I do want you to help me make our life together better. I mean, we are living together anyway. Are you talking back to me? I'm not talking back to you, but... Just shut up and listen to what I have to say. Hey, Dennis. What do you want? You left your house key stuck in the lock. I see. I went straight from my friend's house to work this morning. I totally forgot about the house key. I'll deliver it to your department now. You don't have to do that. Why not? You can't go home without the house key. I might be home later than you. I want you to have the key. No, it's okay. I think I'll just go to my friend's house. Why are you so reluctant to take the house key with you? Because I don't want to see your face in the morning. What? I'm about to go to work and if I see your face, I'll lose efficiency at work. That's terrible. What do you mean? Don't you understand? It means I don't want to see you, so don't come here. I can't believe you said that. It would be embarrassing if everyone saw me meeting you in the office. Why? We are married. Because I'm married to a woman who is not pretty at all. I know that it's my own fault. But I don't want my colleagues seeing me together with a scumbag like you. You don't have to put it that way. I'm just being honest, so I can't help it. Have you ever been called pretty even once in your life? I don't think so. See? Well, even if I told you, you wouldn't have any control over it either. Anyway. I don't need the key. I'm going to a friend's house today. Again? It's not good for your friend if you barge in so much. Besides, I'm worried about your nutritional balance. I don't even know what kind of food you eat there. I don't need you to worry about that. My friend is welcoming me. I don't need you to tell me what to do. Marianne, do you want to have lunch with us? Yeah, I'll be there. How's Dennis these days? Is he still doing whatever he wants? Well, you're not single anymore. You have a family and you have to protect it. That's what happens when you don't say anything. That's right. I'm well aware that it's my fault. I know you want to do everything for him, but you have a job to do. You are too good natured. Is that so? 
That's right. That's why I'm worried. If you keep letting Dennis do what he wants, you're going to be in a big trouble. You have to do something before that happens. I understand. I'm glad you're here, Madison. Thank you for everything. Don't mention it. I think you should talk to Dennis properly once. Yeah, I'll do that. Well then, I'm going to the cafeteria now. Dennis, you're not home yet. Huh? What I do is my business, right? If you're going to stay at your friend's place, at least call me. I'm preparing dinner. Shut up! Have I ever asked you to make dinner? What? Don't patronize me. Did you forget our wedding vow? I didn't mean it that way. That I'm allowed to become an office worker, and not to complain when I go out or stay over. It was our wedding vow, right? I know that. I'm the only one who would take a scumbag like you as a wife. You should be thankful I got married to you. You don't have to talk to me like that. I'm not just asking you to call me. And what about your clothes and stuff? I don't need you to worry about that. I'm not a child. I know, but anyway. I'm going to stay at a friend's place today. You don't have a problem with that, do you? Don't contact me again. Oh, Dennis. Hey, Marianne. Dennis didn't go home, did he? I saw him wearing the same suit today, so that's what I thought. Yeah, he said he was staying with a friend. I can't even talk to him because he never comes home. I'm so sorry about that, but I'm so worried about you, Marianne. Madison, I'm sorry for always making you worry about me. Hey, you've got to pull yourself together. If you don't do that, he'll take advantage of you. I have no doubt that Dennis is having an affair. Yes, I think you're right. I suspect so too. You know, Dennis got married to an unattractive woman like me. I'm not even pretty, and he took me as his wife. So I think I have to believe him. Marianne, you're being too nice to that jerk. I'm well aware that your mild-mannered and intelligent nature is the secret to your success in starting your own business. But you have to be stricter with your husband. There are certain things that are right and wrong. You should tell him that clearly. I know. I think you need to have an emotional outburst once in a while. Okay then. Thanks for your advice. Marian, you got a minute. Yes. How may I help you? It's about pregnancy. What? I'm not pregnant. Are you an idiot? I'm not talking about you. Huh? What do you mean? Do I have to explain it to you every time? She is pregnant. Who are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about, don't you? I'll raise the baby as my own. Are you kidding me? You mean you cheated on me and had a baby with other women? You're going to raise that child in our house? That's right. It's not like you didn't know I had a girlfriend, right? 
I had my suspicions, but because most of the time I go to work from her house, I believe you've noticed that. So I'll raise the kids at our home. Wait a minute. That's not the right thing to do. Why would I raise a child I don't even know? I can't do that. We have enough money to raise a child, don't we? After all, you are the CEO of a company. That's why I'm raising the child at our house, since it's the best solution. Do you have a problem with that? That's insane. Why should I raise a child you had with another woman? I don't think you would make that child happy. How dare you say that? Did you forget the promise we made when we got married? To make me an employee of the company, and not to complain about me going out or staying out. Remember. That has nothing to do with this. If I can go out and stay out freely, it means that I can do whatever I want. I don't understand your logic. That's just not right. It's beyond common sense. I don't agree with that. Shut up! I married a scum like you, so listen to me. You are a piece of crap. I married you only because you are the company's CEO. I married you because you have the money. You don't have anything else to be proud of and make me fall in love with you. Is that why you married me? That's terrible. Otherwise, who would marry you? If you don't want me to divorce you, listen to me honestly. We are going to raise kids since we have the money. What? That's nonsense. You're the CEO of a company. If people know that your husband cheated on you and we got divorced, it's humiliating, right? Besides, I'm one of the employees. That's. You should listen to me. This is the best solution for a smart woman. So you're going to raise the baby? No way. You'll never give birth to my child. I'm giving you happiness as a woman by letting you raise someone else's child. You're gonna be as happy as other women. You should be thanking me for that. That's a really terrible thing to say. I wonder how you can be so confident. Well, you know, with my good looks, women come to me all the time. It's a luxury for you to get married to a man like me. I know that you are an attractive man, but now what? I just think that this isn't the topic to talk about over the phone. Anyway, I'll be counting on you to raise the child from now on. Marianne, where are you? I have an outside meeting today, so I'm out. Hey, what's wrong? I heard about what happened. Is it true that you're going to raise the baby your husband had with other women? What? How did you know that? I overheard him when he was secretly talking to a coworker just now. Can you explain to me? That guy seemed super proud and boastful. He said that since you are the CEO, you have to accept his wish to defend your position, so you can't divorce him. Also, that you'll have to fund Dennis for a long time. What the hell is going on? It seems that you're in a lot of trouble. Jeez, I didn't know he was telling his co-workers about that. Marianne, what are you going to do with such a carefree guy? You need to do something to solve this matter. 
Don't worry about me, Madison. I'm not a silly girl anyway. What? I'm thinking ahead. I can't just let things go as he wishes. I know. I'm sure you'll be fine. If you need any help, you can always talk to me. Yeah, thanks for everything. I'm sincerely grateful to you. Hey, Marianne! The baby is crying. It's so loud, I can't sleep. Hurry up and make him stop crying. Marianne! You are in charge of him. Don't make me lose sleep. If you don't get up soon, you'll be late getting ready in the morning. It's going to be a busy day. Shut up. I'm going to stay in my bed a little longer. Oh, you're just going to stay up that late? Phew. Looks like he finally stopped crying. Don't let him cry until I wake up. I'm already at work, so I won't be home. Huh? Then who's taking care of the baby? Huh? You didn't even know that and you were still asleep? Why don't you go see for yourself? How dare you talk to me like that? You're out of your mind if you think you can order me around like a scumbag. Well, check your room and get ready for the upcoming event. Hey, what the hell is going on? Why are my parents in the living room? Explain in detail so I can understand. Explain what? My parents are holding the baby and they're fussing over. Why? Because it's their grandchildren, right? Isn't it natural for them to hold their grandchildren? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, why are my parents here in this house? I called them. Huh? Why did you do that? I knew you left home to get away from your parents. Your parents must have been so worried. They didn't know where you were and what you were doing. They were surprised when I told them you got married to me. Why did you do such an unnecessary thing? You don't have to tell my parents about that. Why not? They need to know. Why? Because you're doing whatever you want. I thought your parents were the only ones who could stop your selfishness. That's why I contacted them. Selfishness? Yes, indeed. You married me just to get money from me. You treated me like some sort of dirt and you were having an affair with other women. In the end, you had an illegitimate child. And you want me to raise the child. I was just a convenient woman for you, wasn't I? Do you think that's acceptable? Because that was the promise of our marriage. To make me an employee of the company. Not to complain about my going out or staying out. If you couldn't keep that promise, we'd get a divorce, right? That's right. So get my parents out of here. They're saying that they'll take me back to our family house. I don't want that. You brought them here, so it's your fault. Do something about it. I refuse. Because I'm the one who called your parents. I'm not going to let them leave without you. You're going to divorce me? No one else would take a scam bag like you as a wife but me. How long are you going to keep saying that? Huh? You are a bigger scumbag than me. I already divorced you. 
I wanted to believe you because I love you, but I just can't. I finally realized everything. Divorce? What are you talking about? There's no way you can get a divorce on your own like that. What happened to the divorce papers? I filed them yesterday. No kidding. The day after I asked you to put your suit on the hanger, you lost your temper and confronted me with the divorce papers, didn't you? I kept those for a long time. I'm grateful of myself for doing that. Come to think of it, I have no idea why I fell in love with you. So, I had the child removed from my family register as well. That's why I have asked your parents to register the child as theirs. What? Don't do anything without consulting me. What do you think you were doing? And since we're already divorced, I'm terminating your employment with my company as of today. Are you kidding me? There's no way you can get a divorce. If you divorce me, your position will be worse. Okay? It won't. You told your coworker about the child, didn't you? That since I'm the CEO, I need to defend my position. That's why you think I'll never get a divorce, and that I'm going to fund you forever. Well, I don't remember anything about that. Your words spread it quickly throughout the company. So that guy talked to others. I tried to make sure that he didn't. I guess it's because he thought you were out of your mind. What? After you spoke, the rumor spread immediately. Madison, the head of the department, was the first to get the information. She said that she didn't know you were such a scumbag, and that a man like you doesn't belong in our company. So, as the CEO, I should divorce you. I heard that all over the place. Seriously, I didn't know about that. So even though I'm divorced, our company doesn't have to worry about anything. That's what Madison told me. Besides, I just sent an email to all my business partners. Huh? I'm going to be honest with them about you. And if it doesn't work out, I don't know what will. I can start my business all over again, so don't worry. I will never allow you to do something so selfish. I'm going to lose my job. I'm going to charge you a huge amount of alimony and a share of the property too. That's absurd. You're the one who's going to be charged alimony. Huh? Why? Because even though we were married, you committed adultery and even had a child with other women. And you forced me to raise the child. Why should I pay you alimony? Besides, the woman who is the mother of the child admitted everything. Huh? I told her I'd reduce her alimony if she'd be honest with me, and she told me everything. I've recorded her story so well, so I have the proof. That's why you're the one who's paying the alimony. Alimony. Think about what you did. Anyway, I will leave it to my lawyer to decide what to do from here. We have a very good lawyer on retainer. Wait a minute. I'm going to get fired from the company and be charged alimony. There's no way I can pay that. We are already divorced, remember? I have nothing to do with what happens to you. If you have anything to say, please talk to my lawyer. Hold on a sec. What's going to happen to me now? I don't know. 
why don't you just decide for yourself? I told you, we have nothing to do with each other anymore. Oh no! Just don't ever show your face in front of me again. And of course, you're a band from the company as well. If you ever show yourself, I will take legal action. That's what I intend to do. Hey, Marianne, let's talk about this once. I'm sure we can understand each other if we talk. What do you mean we'll understand each other? Don't be silly. I'm blocking your number from this moment. After that, Dennis was forcibly taken back to the countryside by his parents. They put him in a town factory owned by a relative and made him work all day long. And the money he earned from his labor was transferred to me by his parents as alimony. The child was adopted by his parents. I was relieved that they did so because the child was innocent. Dennis has turned into a different man since his now having shaggy hair and a stubble beard. Seems that he's working in a miserable condition. I heard that the mother of his children is already living with another man. I hope he will fully reflect on the fact that he has been living as his pleases. As for me, I'm working as hard as ever as the CEO of the company. My friends and subordinates told me that. It's a good thing I'm working hard, but I need to develop a better eye for men. I was lectured a lot. I have just reflected on how I will do my best not to be deceived by the pretense of kindness and sweet words.